Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back with another video from Yaro Shien. Been a while, but he was the one that did the uh, Dan Machi abridgment, uh, How to Be an Adventurer, which I thought was really, really fun. Um, he's gone and done a free run abridgment pilot episode, a free run beyond a bridge end episode one. The hero dies in the end. I'm currently enjoying free run a few episodes in now, so I thought it'd be cool to check out. Go to Bridgman to see the parody. So I, I feel like a parody is most, so much, much funnier if you actually like it in the first place. So let's get into this. Right, I do like Yara Shien. I think his comedy is great as well. Um, and his voice acting's boss as well. So I'd be interested to see who he might be voice acting in this. I don't see him voice acting free run. Oh, he's so fucking cool, Hibble. You did it! You beat the Demon King! You saved the world! Woo! <laughs> Alright! Thank you all for killing the Demon King. Well, we did it. What was that it? <laughs> Just... Quick, thank you. Boom. Awesome. We... won. So, we're not going to talk about it. I think it wise that we all just pretend we didn't just see the most terrifying creature in the world get, and forgive my dwarfish here, their guts violently- oh, Okay, this is quite interesting. This is funny because you don't see anything of it, do you? <laughs> this is great! It's like, let's, let's just not address the elephant in the room here. Uh... That was quite a traumatic event. It took us 10 years traveling to go and defeat this thing. We're not going to talk about it whatsoever. It just happens, you know? <laughs> it blended while a tiny, unassuming little elf woman kicked the demon king so hard that they, they shut out, out their, their innards. Eyes. Yes, Aizen, that exactly. Never speak of it again. I feel immense regret asking her to join us. I wasn't doing much anyways, so it was really no problem asking me to join your party, Himmel. Oh, dearest friend Friederin, truly a shame that Hemo's bad manners have only rubbed off on you over the years. You rub off enough for all of us, Hyder. Gross. Not as gross as I could be. <laughs> I... I love this guy. I love that he's all about the booze. <laughs> as soon as I was watching it, it was just like... Yeah, that'd be me if I was... An adventurer. I'd be like, come on, but where's the time for the beer? Friederin the Slayer, Executioner of Demonkind, and the Keeper of All Oddities. Murdering demons is not illegal. In fact, it's a moral obligation. I was gonna say, yeah, surely it's not. <laughs> surely that's perfectly fine. If demons were really people, we would have committed so many war crimes. Yes, I suppose it is more of a Geneva suggestion. May the goddess smile down upon us gold and bright. I love his line where it's like, what was it where Freeran says to him something and he's like, Look, we, we saved the world from the Demon King. When we go to heaven, there's gotta be all sorts of stuff waiting for us. No, now that everything has calmed down and we aren't dying, it kind of sucks that we just spent a decade on world peace and it will still never be enough. Yeah, sucks all kind of, but... However, there are still things that need to be taken care of. Dungeons to pilfer, dragons to slay... Spells! We need spells! Demons, demons, demons! Let's just chill tonight, all right? <laughs> yes. The last thing we need is more blood on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Dark. Okay, laugh about it. <laughs> <laughs> I. it's been real invigorating and all, but I'm a head out. Demons to kill, demons to kill, demons to kill. You know the drill. And what, pray tell, of your hobby? Still collecting, and looking for that one spell that makes an explosive fart noise, because you are all fucking degenerate animals. <laughs> I love that, because the amount of random spells that she comes up with as well, it's just like, what? See y'all around in 50 years. But then, she hints that the reason she did it was because Himmel mentioned it one time, and she was like, oh, okay. At least someone here knows how to make an exit. See you around, free run. <laughs> it's funny because what was the uh, How to Be Adventure opening? I want to say it was a Fallout Boy song as well. I can't remember. Oh, the editing. Love it. Love, 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 love. 
That's cool. Yeah, what was it? What was it? It was, um... Oh, I want to... It nearly came to me. I heard them. What the, what the song is I'm thinking of. Oh, never mind. Beyond the bridge end. That's cool. Bleh. Fuck. How long did I sleep in? And I really got a piss. <laughs> <laughs> delivery. Fantastic. I don't really need to piss. <laughs> 50 years and these apes still can't go higher than five floors. I'm disappointed. You old bitch. Oh, and finding things are never up to snuff with a casual elven racism to follow. Himmel, you look like a cock out in the middle of winter. <laughs> okay. Jesus. All right. What happened to you? I hit the broad side of Father Time's baseball bat. What'd I tell you about being horny all the time? It's not my fault that my dick is too good and my alimony is so high. So, want to go see some shooting stars? Oh, also, do you have that horn of silent screaming? Oh, also tea. Yeah, sure! All those things. We've, we've skipped over a little bit of the story here, but it's fine. It's Bridgman. It's meant to be a comedy. Is it, we won't explain why she's gone back. She just said she'd be back in 50 years, when in reality it was, these stars look great and they appear every 50 years. Okay, I'll come back in 50 years. And then during that time, she also requires other things that she can ask for when she gets there. Do you also like my coin purse? I would, actually. I'm very broke. <sighs> I can't be mad at you. The evil, the evil aura from the horn. Yeah, shit's been real weird since you gave me this. It just screams there, silently. It gave me arthritis and gout. Sorry, I think. <laughs> I don't know if I should be bothered, I might be. <laughs> the fuck was that supposed to be? It's not happening to me, so... So it makes that okay then? Yeah. You're the same pain in the ass girl I met all those years ago. And you're a tiny little baby man. <laughs> you're a tiny little baby man. <laughs> oh, don't do that. With tiny baby man arms. Why? Dumb, dumb baby man. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> oh, good, you both made it. I was expecting less and more. If I wanted to hear the elf not get common idioms and judge us for showing up for their little star watching party after 50 years, I would sooner fuck off to an early grave. Making a bunch of us old men come out here. Learn to respect your elders, Freerin. I am literally the oldest one here. I was gonna say, yeah, she is the oldest one. Here, kiddos. Uh, anyways, what's happening? It's a bit early for the shooting star thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> This was something that I was a bit like, what? And it just makes you realise she doesn't really take anyone into consideration at this point. Yeah, it's a weak walk away. Oh, okay, we're all old and nearly dead, but that's fine. <laughs> I know a perfect spot. We'll be walking there. And how far is this? Just a week's worth of walking, stopping only to eat and sleep. Oh, no whining, come God. on. God. <laughs> Did you kill me? Well, this is pretty and all. But we literally walked a week just to see this, and my dogs are barking. I can tell. You're being a real bitch about it. I'm sorry. I'm just an 80-year-old man with fucked up freaking bones. Sorry for being so generous about it! I feel like you're not appreciating the work I did. By walking in a general direction. <laughs> Congratulations! Fuck you, man. No, fuck you! I'm gonna die! What? Yeah! I'm just gonna die! And you're gonna feel bad about- Oh, It's what happens! About it. Don't? <laughs> fucking dickhead. That's what happens. The goddess giveth a good friend, and the goddess taketh a very sexually active old man. Well, to be fair, he was violently blue-balled for ten years. Sounds like a painful ailment. Oh. <laughs> You didn't get that at all, Freer. She's talking about you. <laughs> yep. yep. 
Don't touch me, I'm grieving. Don't touch my head. <laughs> well, that's all over now. Gotta go do some other things. But, uh, when I retire, come on by. You can watch me die next time. Please. Please. <sighs> Please don't put that evil on me. Ah, not to worry. I'm a man of the cloth. My health couldn't deteriorate any faster than it already is. <laughs> <sighs> Just years later. Who are you? A concerned citizen. That's Fern. She's your new student. Yeah, she is. I uh, oh, such cute moments with these two as well. <sighs> so why am I suddenly the useless child's mentor? Is not the time to be poking that there elven racisms, but that kid is a nihilist, and the only reason why she's still here and not a Volo's interpretation of fine art along the bottom of a trench is because. She's actually quite good at magic, Freerun. Give her a chance. She's gonna blast a hole through that rock. She'll do it, and then she'll show you her defensive magics as well. <laughs> hey, kid. Killing yourself is not cool. Yeah, it's, it's not. You, you did a good job stopping her, mate. Uh... No, what is? What? What could anything possibly matter in this world that I would ever love or like? The goddess has forsaken me. Magic. You'll love magic. <laughs> Killed by demons. I'm very low on blood sugar. So what? What could you possibly offer me? Uh, yeah, hot cocoa and magic. So I'm just collateral to your lie. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm asking my friend to help me. Yeah, exactly. Come on, Freeran. Just, just, just go along with the plot so that the plot can, can carry on. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? Give her my thoughts and prayers? Yes, asshole. Because that's exactly what you do. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Dick. Fearin, I'm dying. The kid doesn't have anyone else, and she's got talent. Come on. One more go around. She's gonna need to prove herself. Oh, that's gonna be easy. I like to see that. All right, maggot! Don't yell at me. Then what can I do? Just don't yell at me. Okay. What is this song in the background? I feel like it's Imagine Dragons. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't quite hear it. Oh, ground rules. You want to know why? No, it's not. It's not. Or oh, maybe it is. I'm baby. A little baby. Yeah, a little baby. A little baby that can do this. I can't make out the song. <laughs> they didn't say. Why did you not that? That art's cool. That's really cool. Bug me for the rest of my life until I find out who it is. That was really good. That was a really good opening episode. Um, I think it's just because I'm, it's quite fresh with me, the, the, the original story, that I'm a bit like, wow, they skimmed over this, they could have done stuff with that, blah, blah, blah. But it is an, abri an abridgment's meant to be a condensed story. It's not like how most people think, where it's meant to be a comedic approach to it. When you abridge something, it's meant to be a shorter telling of a story. That's the original meaning for an abridgment. But, like, we've come to know abridgments uh, as a comedic approach to parodying it. Uh, so, that worked as a really good abridgment. Um, but that was also very funny in, in, in spots as well. I liked it. I would definitely love to see more of it. Um, and it's nice to see Yarashien is still doing stuff, considering over the years he's had like, loads of... Bad things happen to him and his channel and that, so you keep going, man. You keep going. Thank you to my patrons. If you want to have your name at the end of every video, I want to be able to watch patron-only reactions, such as the original Dragon Ball series. Link in the description to the Patreon page. One dollar a month is all I ask. I suppose it's great. appreciate that. Thank you all for watching. You guys think of that. Think of this. Click like, subscribe, leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch. Gusted feature videos. I'll see you guys all, guys. Next time.